Hi, a lot of people tell me that I need to blog. I don't want to blog. I don't, really typing things out and uh, telling a story that way kind of bores me, let alone you, because I don't think a lot of people actually take time out to read blogs anymore. Right, unless it's going to take them less than 30 seconds, in which case it's not really a blog, it's just a statement or a status update. I do think they will watch a few minutes worth of movie. I think they do that a lot. So, I said let's do things I can't do on the air and we'll put it online. And that's what we're doing. Things I can't do on the air. Sometimes because of time and we just don't have time to get to it during the show. Sometimes because of content. In today's case, this program is for mature audiences only. Please have your fake ID ready. Exactly. So if you are under 18, don't let your parents let, catch you watching this, okay? Now, today's topic is, um, how can I put this delicately? All we did was watch each other masturbate in the hot tub. How the hell do you type with just one hand? Because I'm having a great time doing it. Spank it, spank it, smack it on a bing bong. So this is going to make me happy? Together, we are the masters of our sexual destiny. Leave me alone. Shoot it, stuff it, hang it on the wall. Let's get dirty magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, my master. I think I wet my bed. Right. Well, I came across a survey, and normally when I see these surveys on this topic, well... I take it for what it's worth, right? Because I figure that, you know, most people in America either admit to it or they're lying. And this survey seems to have a few less liars than usual. Um, according to the survey from the adult store Adam and Eve, 86% of adults in the United States will now admit to having their way with themselves. The most common frequency, once or twice a week, um, one in five, 20%, say they do it at least once a day. I guess 86% sounds like a higher number than most surveys. I had no idea 14% of people in, in America were born without arms, but be that as it may. So, I look at it from a health standpoint. You look at it like it's just a great workout. Man, how did you get such muscular forearms? <laughs> Thanks, but credit goes to 5-Minute Forearms. Hi, I discovered 5-Minute Forearms as an adolescent, and through years of experimentation, I've created the perfect forearm workout. Just 5 minutes a day for strong, firm, toned forearms. I'll bet you'll find 5-Minute Forearms so satisfying, you'll end up doing it several times a day. Do 5-Minute Forearms while looking at a magazine, watching DVDs, or while on the internet. And the best part, you can do 5-Minute forearms anywhere at the office at home in the car while shopping at the park even in the bathroom what are you doing in there uh, uh, nothing i'm just working out five minute forearms was designed for men but women can get into it too listen to this really satisfied customer unbeknownst to me my boyfriend was doing five minute forearms when i wasn't home one day i caught him and he turned me on to it now my boyfriend does five minute forearms in the kitchen right in front of me he likes it when I watch him work out, but what he really likes is when I join in and we do five minute forearms together. Five minute forearms, toned forearms in five minutes or less and your satisfaction is guaranteed. 